Hi guys, Steph here. Now, well, what we've got for you today, yet another lovely pen. Anybody recognise it? Yes? No? Well, what we've got for you here, this is an absolutely gorgeous Mentmore Auto Flow. Now, some of you regular viewers will sort of look at this pen and say, Ah, yes, Steph, you've done this pen before. Well, what I've actually done, I've actually shown you a video of the identical pen. Um, the only difference being is that particular one was in a lovely brown and black pearl marble. Now, as you can see here, this particular pen is in this gorgeous burgundy pearl um, and black marble so yeah it's the same pen different color so what I'm thinking what I thought I'd do is show you the same pen obviously in a different in a different color so what I'm going to try and do yes uh, I know I chat away a lot I'm going to try and keep it quite short so what we've got is a Mentmore Auto Flow fountain pen um, the date of the pen around about 1930s 1940s um, the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 124 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a nice chunky 12 millimeters um, in diameter and these pens I believe were made in Hackney in London Great Britain as we said, we've got this one, it's in this uh, burgundy pearl, well, burgundy and black pearl marble. It's got gold fill trim, it's got this quite a thin um, cap band to the bottom of the cap there. If we show you the clip, we've got this lovely vintage ball clip to the cap there. And to the top there, you can see the, the M, which obviously stands for Mentmore. And to the very top, we have this slightly domed... Um, sort of stud if you like to the top of the cap and to the bottom of the barrel you can see it's sort of black at the bottom as well and slightly domed as well um, you may have already noticed what we've got here is a lever fill fountain pen and the, it's got a lovely lever on it as I said in the other video if you look to it's what we term as a spade lever and if you look at to this sort of the end or the the sort of spade side you can see also we've got the letter m for Mentmore on the lever now in this particular case as with the other one i've not highlighted the uh the imprint so what i'm going to do is keep it nice and still and i hope it's quite viewable on the video it's always a little bit difficult working over the camera but what it actually says is Mentmore auto flow um, and then I believe it's got sort of patent on it or something and maybe maybe even made in England underneath I can't quite remember what it has and it's a little bit difficult to see over the camera I think it's got made in England to the bottom there but all in all it's a Mentmore auto flow fountain pen in absolutely gorgeous condition um, I say I've restored it but saying that it didn't need a lot of work doing to it these pens um, they stand the test of time very very well and as I've said in other I've shown you lots of Mentmore pens so if you're interested in them go and have a look at my uh, reviews on the Mentmores but very very underrated pens I stress again these pens are as good if not better than some of the major manufacturers of that particular era they're absolutely beautiful quality made pens um, and some people obviously are not aware of the Mentmore brand but um, when I actually sell these pens or when they find a new home the people that receive them are absolutely delighted with the pens this very surprised at the quality of these pens absolutely superb so let's give you a couple of little twirls of the pen different angles absolutely gorgeous let's take you over to the section you can see it's got a little bit of a, a concave section to the very top there if we show you the nib the nib is a Mentmore I think it says Osmi Iridium it's a 14 karat gold nib and if we show you the sideways view and on, underneath you've got the comb feed which is um, very sort of well not so much recognizable very similar to 
other pens of that particular period. The main thing on this pen, if I keep it nice and still, you'll notice there that it's got a lovely blob of iridium to the top of the nib there. Okay, so let's keep it very nice and still. I don't know how it's focusing, but you'll see to the very tip there, a lovely blob of iridium. So it indicates to me that this pen, well, has not seen too much use. But because we've put a new sack in it and sort of restored it, let's see uh, let's see how it writes so as i said it's a lever fill so what it means is we have to dip the nib in the ink open the lever we'll only do it just once for this particular time because it's only for a writing sample and i've got to be careful doing that because when i take it out of the ink you can't see it but just below me here it's just sort of blobbed onto the paper so let's bring on some writing paper and let's see how the pen how it writes so what we have is a a ment a ment more as we said this particular model is what they term as the auto flow and as we said we're dating it around about the 1930s maybe sorry i just got that wrong through to 1940s it's writing as you can see hopefully with a fine line a nice writer which is to be expected with these particular pens I'm just applying a little bit of pressure to see if we're getting we're getting a little bit of variation not a great deal I, I would say we're writing with a fine fine line so there you have it a lovely writer writing with a fine line not a lot of variation in the line so let's pop that to one side and again because I've already shown you this particular pen as I say if you're interested in Mentmore pens Mentmore made numerous different kinds of pens different filling systems different trim um, so if you're interested in Mentmore pens I've done a number of Mentmore uh, video reviews as I said I've already done one on this particular one in a golden brown this is a burgundy and black pearl marble but all in all I can't say it enough very very much underrated an absolutely stunning pen beautifully made a quality made pen so for you people that have not actually considered meant more pens I would seriously suggest that you you look into them and maybe seriously consider them but for now what I'm going to do is try and keep it short I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen don't forget don't be shy you people are shy leave a comment below I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always as much as I enjoy showing them to you but for now I'll just simply say bye bye for now